Do you want to upgrade to Discord JS 14? I am here for you. I will create a cool button thing so that you can know how the help button works in this Discord JS 14 package. And for getting started with Discord JS 14, check out this video. So first of all, we are sending them a message. So I'm just gonna do const message is equals to await and then we will do interaction dot reply and we have to provide them an embed in which we will give them some instructions and by the way if you don't know how the hell our cool embed works now please check out this video embed builder and then i will provide it some stuff like you know title title will be select the correct correct button so i will just do dot set color and then i will just provide random so now we have to provide them the components it is just like last time the name but everything else is different so instead of message action row you have to get the action row builder and uh, apart from that we have the button builder and let's get started so first of all we're just gonna do new action row builder and then we will do boom we have it and now we can provide some data and the data is just our components so i'm gonna give an array of buttons so we will do new button builder and we have to provide them the data for our button so what do we need we need the custom id and for custom id i'm gonna do one first of all and then we have to give the emoji which i'm going to ignore for now and then we have to give them the label so for that i will just say green because this button is going to be green and how i will show you so we have to give them the style as you guys can see uh, give me a second so we will do style and in our style we can no longer provide text so here comes the new thing that is the button style so for that we just have to get another thing called button style from our discord js package and then we will do button style dot success because success is a green button and that's all we have to do now we will provide a couple more of buttons so i will just do we and make sure all of your buttons all of your components have a different id and label and stuff doesn't matter this thing will be red because it is going to be button style dot danger and after danger we are going to need couple more of the components so i will just select them one by one first of all we have our uh, you know primary it is a blue button if I am not wrong then I'm gonna choose blue and custom ID is going to be 3 and for the last one I mean second last one it is 4 it is going to be secondary and our custom ID is this and the color will be gray or blackish or something uh, and then comes the last one it is called the link button these buttons have links I mean like they are literally a URL so I'm just gonna click on URL and the custom ID will be 5 and then I'm just gonna control space and we have to provide a URL so that's all we have to do and now let's get started and make sure your single action row do not have more than five components so we have sent the message and make sure you also have the fetch reply thing because fetch reply is needed otherwise your message will be undefined now we have to create a collector to actually know what button is clicked and if it is clicked or not so we are going to do const collector is equals to message dot create message component collector and then we have to provide them some data like filter so in our filter we have a function and its user id should be equals to our interaction dot user dot id and now we have to first of all add a collector for ignore case like when we do not have to reply to this interaction that means this filter failed in that case we are just gonna do a simple thing i dot reply and we will say something in a ephemeral message so we are going to set its property ephemeral as true and then we have to provide them a embed and, and i will just say something like and then we can choose the color and that can be red dot set color and it will be red all right collector dot on collect when somebody actually clicks on a button to make this game a bit better let's do const w it means the winner let's do rn it is going to create a random number for me the maximum limit will be four and the minimum limit will be 1 win is equals to i dot custom id is equal to equal to we are using double equals to because this is a number and our custom id is going to be a string is it if these two are equal that means the user won now what we are gonna do is i dot reply and then i'm gonna do something simple embeds button names and we can make an array uh, or uh, let's start with first of all the first button is probably the first one is green then we have red you clicked on and then we will do button names bracket and then we are gonna do parse in i.custom id minus one because array's index starts from zero 
so that's all we have to do and let's make it ephemeral as well let me just copy and paste so now let's start our game and let's see if it actually works or if it don't then how can we fix it let's find it all out bam the game is started and the bot died just as we started url and custom id are mutually exist exclusive all right guys so it seems like we cannot provide a custom id when we have a url so that means we can restart by removing the custom id i'm really sorry i forgot about that and then we're gonna retry and let's see what happens now it sent us the thing if we click on url and it just sends us to this url and otherwise we can click on these buttons let's click on red and you can see it said you clicked on red and we lost if i click on green it says the same if i click on blue it says won and if i click on gray it says you lost so blue was the winner button and it always changes the thing blue gray gray button and stuff so that's how it works that's how you can create buttons now and that's how you can collect them and by the way we can ignore them as well let me just change my account and the main thing is you have to use the custom ids make sure all the ids are unique with respect to each other in the same message and you can use those ids to make different if else statements like if i dot custom id is equals to you know one then do something if it is equals to two do something else and of course we have the ignore case thingy let me just get my discord server so where is the bots and if i click on it you will see it is it is a different account it says you are not allowed because we have this collector dot ignore thing and by the way we can have another thing let me show you we can do collector dot on end in this case what we are going to do is uh well we can do something as simple as let's see uh we can do message dot edit and we are gonna do components is equal to an empty array that is like removing the buttons and we can also have a time limit in our collector so we can say time limit will be like five seconds so that's it and we can do more things like uh, we have the collected thing we have the reason thing uh, let's get started so by the way reason can be equals to anything so if the collector ends because the time ran out then the reason will be equals to time otherwise if you do something like collector dot stop and you type some text here then this thing will be the reason all right this thing will be the reason and you can even pass something else in this collector you can even pass the damn interaction itself and that thing will be passed on to this reason thing and collected it is just a collection of all the damn interactions but you can kind of ignore it and i'm just going to show you how collector dot on and thing works cause why not so i'm going to do slash click and we are going to do the click thingy and boom you can see it is started and we will wait for five seconds and then these buttons should be gone so you can see the buttons are gone we can even change the embed and stuff so that's how button works in our discord js version 14 and new video on select menu is coming soon and you will join our discord server for more info till then bye thanks a lot for watching please suggest me what you want in discord js version 14 cities and yeah bye